children have not just the three-dimensional problems that we have in adults, but they have a fourth dimension. And that fourth dimension is growth. We have to provide a solution that will be able to grow with the patient. We're always asking ourselves one simple question, which is what is best for the patient and the family? At other hospitals, patients might see a medical specialist and then subsequently they will see a surgical specialist and they might see a psychologist and they'll see a social worker. And each one of these is a separate trip. So what's different here at the Children's Hospital at Montefiore, from the point of view of a patient being looked after by a team that is truly integrated, that's a unique experience for patients. When I came here to the Children's Hospital, I brought my lab with me. We've brought everything that would be available at a cancer center to a much more children's friendly environment. So what are the things that make a cancer center unique? It's the ability to deliver chemotherapy in the most effective means. It's the ability to have a laboratory that's translating the findings of the laboratory into the clinic and a supportive environment that's all about willingness to do research. Dr. Azua's recruitments have been absolutely amazing. I know that one of the considerations for some of the faculty members that come here is the quality of the residency training program. And the interdisciplinary patient care really enriches the training of my interns and residents because it exposes them to the expertise of faculty that's really world-renowned. The kind of people that are leading programs in the Children's Hospital would not be here without a school of medicine of the caliber of the Einstein School. The only way you develop new knowledge is by making connections between the science and the care. The school is superb. Montefiore's medicine, it's like a mirror image. It's innovative, it pushes the bounds in terms of new knowledge. Uh, it is clinically superb. The outcomes here are outstanding. So when you marry those two, you create an environment where the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. As we build programs in the Children's Hospital and connect them with the Albert Einstein College of Medicine, we are relentless in terms of how we grade ourselves. But when you hit the U.S. News and World Report in the top tier, um, you stand back and just say, wow. Sade presented here at two years of age. For the first few days, it wasn't clear what was wrong with her. She was losing her ability to walk and was taken to the operating room, noted to have a huge tumor in her posterior fossa of her brain with metastases going from the top of her cervical cord all the way down to her sacrum. To be honest, I've never seen so much tumor in a child. She had a debulking procedure and was noted to have medulloblastoma. We can take a patient with a very difficult, challenging tumor and take them through the operating room and that patient will have their motor function preserved because we've developed technology that will tell us moment to moment how well the nervous system is tolerating our surgeries. Most facilities that say they can monitor cannot monitor at a level that allows them to, in a reliable fashion, preserve motor function in their patients. She was then treated here for the next year with very aggressive chemotherapy. It's really difficult to do this kind of high acuity medicine without a team. She was a really very sick child, but always had a tremendous amount of fire, um, very spunky kid. There are many, many people, myself included, who are actually pretty shocked at how well she's doing today. I think there's tremendous support at the Children's Hospital. That starts at the administrative level. It's a tremendous facility, beautiful rooms, state-of-the-art, technical support in terms of information systems, commitment to bringing people, support staff, nurses, social workers, child life. It's a tremendously supportive environment. What we're doing is building teams across the entire spectrum of biomedical science. Our goal is, is to be a national leader in transforming child health. And to do that, 
we have to not only offer supreme clinical expertise, we also have to train the next generation of physicians and scientists, and we have to lead the discoveries that can help to transform the health of children. Innovative science plus cutting edge technology plus supreme clinical expertise all integrated in the context of a family-centered approach is what we aim for and that's part of what makes this place a special place.